Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of inspiration and realness. Also, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, personality, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And now the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself from his Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts. Mr. Shenanigans himself and the two-time Chilling 3000 2022 End of the Year Awards winner, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lee Machine Hannigans of 1977, episode 627 of the show. What's going on? We're going to talk about what happened last night at AEW Dynamite. I was unable to do um, one because of the fact that I was live streaming with my friend, Jordy Scout. So, um, let's, um, let's kick it off with the... Uh, there are two title matches in this matchup. A Texas Tornado uh, matchup as well. And... Uh, and here's how this works. The AEW International Championship was on the line. Orange Cassidy versus Swerve Strickland. Now, this matchup could have gone either way. And I figured Strickland would have the advantage because he's got, you know, allies in his corner. We know um, um, Orange Cassidy's best friends team uh, also had a trios matchup. And, uh... <laughs> And it was a heck of a matchup going back and forth, but Orange Cassidy did pick up the victory, retaining the international championship. The Mogul Embassy was attacking Cassidy after the matchup, and the lights went out. And then the lights came back on. Sting and Darby Allen appeared with baseball bats, forcing Mogul Embassy to retreat. Ricky Starks and Jay White cut a promo on each other about tonight's um, uh, last night's main event. So. And also another promo by Brian Danielson and Kajuska Okada. That will be um, one of two matches happening at Forbidden Door. And he joined on commentary as the Blackpool Combat Club. That will consist of Ring of Honor World Champion Claudio Castagnoli, John, Mo John Moxley, and Willie Yuta as he can go up against the team of Chaos. That would be the best friends, Chuck Taylor and Trent Beretta, and Rocky Romero. Heck of and it was a heck of a fight as usual. Black Bull Combat Club ended up being um, ended up being victors, but Adam Page and the Young Bucks of the Elite interrupted them, and they say we've had enough. We're ending this. We're challenging you guys to a trios match next week. So there's that, and uh, another uh, another matchup that we happening at Forbidden Door. Uh, will Ospreay will be challenging Kenny Omega for the IWGP United States Championship. It'll be interesting to see how Omega does without Don Callis in his corner. And then uh, MJF, the World Heavyweight Champ, uh, dresses the M uh, Colorado crowd, berates him as usual, does his usual MJF stick, uh, stick until um, Adam Cole came out. And then he starts... Um, <laughs> He starts razzing on Adam Cole and personally razzing on him during his time in the WWE. So, so there's that. And, uh, so, <laughs> especially when Adam, when MJF name dropped Adam Cole, which prompted him to have a matchup next week, a world title eliminator matchup. The Hardy Party decides to uh, talk to Even Page as he's the newest member of the Hardy Party. Matt Hardy says, never making your life miserable and all that. I want to make you a better person person. So, that's going to be very interesting to, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, so there's that. Um, <laughs> so, the Texas Tornado matchup, Jungle Hook, that will be the team of Jungle Boy, Jack Perry, and, uh, Jungle, um, Jungle Boy, uh, Jack Perry, and Hook to take on Los Faccion Ingonables, the team of Dralistico and Perro Pelagroso himself, Preston Vance, and with Jose, the assistant on his feet. <laughs> uh, so, uh, oh, Maple Cheerios. Meh. <laughs> I was a fan. Okay. Um, you know. Let's see. Can you see? Uh, let's see. Uh, 
Let's, I'm just gonna. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm trying to figure it out. Okay. Uh, we'll get into course now. Uh, Texas Tornado matchup. Uh, Jungle Hook did win the matchup, by the way. And, uh. All right. All right. Okay. All right. I finally got the nice name. All right. Now, I was trying to look up for Kanoke. Uh, uh, Kanose. Uh, Kanose. Kanosuke to catch this opponent last night. And. And finally got the name. I'm going to write the name down. There we go. Okay, continuing on to uh, Tony Khan uh, announces the first uh, first main event for a collision that will be a week from this Saturday. It will be a trios matchup. The AEW Tag Team Champions FTR teams up the returning with the returning CM Punk as they go up against Bullet Club Gold, that will be the team of Jay White and Juice Robinson, and the Ring of Honor Television Champion Samoa Joe. Kanosuke, uh, Kanosuke Takeshita uh, took on Damon Ace, and uh, Takeshita did win the matchup. Don Callis did address uh, did uh, did address the Colorado crowd, berating them and berating Kenny Omega. Alex Marvez interviewed Christian Cage. Christian Cage goes, since Aaron Anderson wants to get stick his nose in my business, that's fine. He cost me the matchup. Well, I had it. So he, he uh, says, Luchasaurus, let's go. And it looks like Brock Anderson, Arn Anderson's son, was attacked. He just made this thing personal. That is not a good thing. TBS title on the line, Chris Statlander in, his, or in her second title defense against uh, Jericho Appreciation Society, Anna J.A.S. And Statlander did end up Winning the match, retaining her title. Taya Valkyrie was looking the back, uh, looking in from the back, and she seems to be very, very ticked off. I think she wanted to be the one to end Jade Cargill's reign, but you're going to have to. Uh, if she wants that title, I think she want she'll have to face Chris Statlander. I'm sure Chris Statlander will welcome the challenge. We'll see what happens there. Meanwhile, Ruby Soho and the lovely, the gorgeous, and curvaceous and voluptuous. That's right. I'm talking about the AEW Women's World Champ, Tony Storm, addressing the Fatal 4 way that will be happening at Rampage this, this Friday as Britt Baker goes up against Sky Blue, goes against uh, former Ring of Honor Women's Champ uh, Mercedes Martinez and Nyla Rose. Saying that whoever wins, well, they'll have to face Miss Storm for the championship. Go Tony Storm. I like, she's my favorite member of the Outcast. What can I... Why not I digress? Uh, Eric is simping again. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Eric. Maybe maybe I do have a thing for Australian women. I don't know. Her between her and Harley Cameron. Ray Ripley? Uh. Anyways, Ricky Starks and Jay White go one on one. Remember, FTR and Juice Robinson were banned from ringside. But during the matchup, nobody said anything about the guns. And while the referee was not looking, the guns did did attack Ricky Starks, giving Jay White the victory. Have the guns joined Bullet Club Gold? What is going on? Why did the guns help out Jay White? We don't know the freaking answer to that. Well, so that is all the time we have on this show for this episode. 627 Eric Lehman shenanigans of 1977. Um, AEW Dynamite Event Center for June the 7th, 2023. Up next... We're going to play some Pressure Luck. And that's what we're going to do. Right after I upload this episode. So, until the next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, please take us home. That is all for today's episode of the show. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E. Do it for Bob Saget Production. And in association with... A sweet both of raving dingleberries, telepictures, and distribution. Thank you for watching another great episode of Eric Lehman Shenanigans of 1977. Until the next episode, goodbye for now.